Seve Ballesteros won over 90 international tournaments, including five major championships. The Open Championship three times and the Masters tournament twice. As well as this, Seve was a Ryder Cup legend, captaining the winning side at Valderrama. Always nice to have little memories, isn't it? One thing I think Seve is massively underrated for is his course architecture and design. Today we are at Novo Santi Petra Golf Club in Spain, one of Seve's hidden gems which he designed. Today you join me on my first episode of a brand new series, For the Love of Golf where I take you to some of the best golf courses in the world and I show you exactly what's behind them. Now let's get back to 6.30 a.m. this morning when we're on the first tee. It's a little bit colder, a little bit darker, but you're in for a treat. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Sorry guys, breakfast time again. So guys, it is a little bit dewy this morning. Oh, that would have been a good start to the video. <laughs> it is a little bit dewy this morning, it's a little bit foggy, but it's got the makings of a fantastic day. So here we are at Novo Santa Petri Golf Club. This is designed by the one and only Seve Ballesteros. And this is course A, and I'm very excited. So everyone, the idea behind this new series, For the Love of Golf, is I do a lot of course reviews, I do a lot of club reviews, I do a lot of tips, I do a lot of matches, vlogs. Tips. <laughs> But they're not always that enjoyable. Sometimes I feel like the match gets in the way of the filming or the filming gets in the way of the match. And I think that's why Tom's beaten me a couple of times on this trip. So what I'm gonna try and do, by the way, everyone, we all remember Tom. Morning. Tom is a young and upcoming plus one handicapper. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Anything to say? No. No? Good lad. Beautiful morning. And I've got some pretty big courses lined up for this year especially, and, and hopefully just moving forward. The, the banter started early this morning. So anyway, back to what I was saying. The idea behind this series is for people just like me who love golf. That's why I'm going to call it For the Love of Golf. Or at least I think that's what I'm going to call it. You're not going to see every shot, you're not going to see every score, unless it's a good one, then you're going to see every shot and every score. But it's mainly about appreciating a good golf course, about appreciating golf as a whole, golf as general, golf in general. Comment below, let me know what you think to this series. Do you want to see every shot? Do you want to see every score? Or do you just want to see some golf on a great golf course? Why is it, whenever group lets you through, you always hit a bad one? But then when you do miss it, it gives you the chance to channel your inner Seve. Or Zorro. So guys, so far, Novo Santi Petri, designed some by... Some breakfast. Pardon? Some breakfast. What have we got? Custard tart. Oh! Look at that. Yes, please. That's okay for breakfast, isn't it? We've got two each. Two? We'll reconvene this in a second. So far, very... Very impressed. Back to the golf. Now is it just me, or when it's dewy and your shoes are looking a little bit worse for wear? They just love doing this. Oh, not OCD, but I could be just because of that.
walking about and nobody sees. Just like I was going to tell you earlier on in the video, I do yeah. have some custard. Sorry guys. Breakfast time again. So yeah, anyway, I was saying, I have some absolutely awesome golf courses coming up this year for you guys. I have some awesome tracks. I mean, next week, Harbour Town, Hilton Head. Did I tell you I'm going to the Masters? If you're watching this video post-Masters, then I apologise. The hype is over, uh, but I went to the Masters, so uh, I really enjoyed it. I'll tell you now, even though I've not been. But yeah, anyway. Not only have we got the courses in America, but I've also got Las Colinas in the summer. I've got Royal Dornock in the summer, Brora in the summer. Oh, I'm sure that's not going to be it. In fact, guys, smash those comments below. Where would you like to see me film an episode of For the Love of Golf? Apart from like Augusta or somewhere that you're not going to get on unless you're going to the Masters. Ooh. I did not think we'd be finding that. So guys, one thing that I really like about this golf course is how different it is. So front nine, it's quite open. You're out by the sea, you're out by the beach. Oh, if I could play golf every day for the rest of my life by the beach, that would be me done, I think. Then you get onto this back nine and you're weaving in and out of the Spanish pines. It's very, very, very tight. I mean, I'm making it look a lot tighter than it actually is today, but... When you're playing this course, you really do get a sense of when Seve designed it. There's just random trees everywhere. There's trees in the middle of the fairways. I mean, the tree lining of the fairways is pretty ridiculous. But you can see kind of Seve's almost sadistic side coming out saying, well, if I can get out of it, so can you. I don't know what kind of accent that was, but I wasn't going to really try a proper Spanish one. What do you think Seve was thinking when he designed this? I think he was a bit really. On a few worlds, no, it's, uh, I think he's, he's thought about it well. I think it's a brilliant golf course, both of them, just as good. But like you said, the, like the, the front nine's completely different from the back nine. Yeah. The front nine's a bit more picturesque, whereas this one's a bit more true line, apart from a couple holes. See, it's interesting there how different golf courses can split different opinions. So Tom says the front nine's more picturesque, whereas for me, there's a couple of holes in this back nine which personally look like they let it down a little bit but I think that's only because the spectacular holes are so good if this was just a normal golf course with no spectacular holes then the poor holes or then the holes that let it down wouldn't let it down but then would it be as good? Now here's an interesting one the flag is through there, but we've got to kind of go around here. Nice way to finish, isn't it? You really got sorry. You really got a channel. You're in a sevy here, haven't you? No. Well, I gave it my best shot.
So guys, that brings to an end Novo Santi Petri, designed by Seve Ballesteros. In conclusion, what a fantastic golf course. Very, very tight, very subtly undulating greens, but very enjoyable. The B course is also fantastic. We managed to play that yesterday. Make sure you leave a comment below, guys. What do you think to the new series? For the love of golf, did you enjoy that? Do you want to see more scoring? Do you want to see more challenges? They will be coming as well. Guys, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed that. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.